We are on. Okay, Bob, come on. You can do this. You need this job. Just turn your brain off and keep going. Is my mic on? Carol, could you not sit on top of my desk? Because I end up just looking at your body. Well, that's what I wanted. Everybody, we're back from lunch at five. We're back from lunch at five. So please finish what you're eating. Hey, kids. Are your parents out of the room? Yeah! Good, because I want to talk to you about CandyForGold.com. <laughs> At CandyForGold.com, we take all your parents' boring old gold and jewelry and send you back bags of delicious candy. But listen, we can't send you the candy unless you send us the gold. So here's what I need you to do. Wait till your mommy and daddy leave the house, sneak into their bedroom, and look through all their drawers. Oh, if you see anything made of shiny gold, just grab it. It doesn't even have to be made of gold, just as long as it's shiny. Shine. The next part's easy. Just put it all into a properly sealed and stamped box or envelope and mail it to candyforgold.com. And whatever you do, don't tell your parents. They're This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. And hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. Okay, just kidding. There Breathalyzer was inconclusive. You're gonna have to take another one. <sighs> okay, listen to me. I'm gonna need a jug of beet juice, some WD-40, and a bag of peat moss. Stat. If we could clear all of the children from the set, we're about ready to start. Clear all the children. Not all the people in this office have watched it. This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. And hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. Okay, just kidding. There will be parts and stuff. I'd like to welcome you three to the game. But my lawyers have suggested otherwise. Handle those screws carefully. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for mating season. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. And right this way. Get ready, time for fashion. Run. Right off the bat, bootyful. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or 100%? <laughs> Player two, deuce. Players one and three. Uh-oh. <laughs> Player two. Kim Kardashian's brain, and everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. But that other 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. Next up, his acting is all right, all right, all right. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages, the McConaughey Industrial Age, the McConaughey Middle Ages, or the McConaughey Enlightenment Age? <laughs> Player two, watch that clock. Player two, could be worse, you know, in theory. Player three, 
All wrong, all wrong, all wrong. <laughs> Player one. The Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. So the Meconaissance would follow the Meconaissance Middle Ages. <laughs> Which is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. Dance with me, Disco 3. This one's called Brought to You by the Letter U Nebrow. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. And if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange the Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert, Ernie, the Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Bert, Ernie, the Count. The Count, Bert, Ernie, or Ernie, the Count, Bert. Time's almost up. Player three. What were you thinking there? <laughs> Player one. You got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Correct answer, show yourself. Ernie has no eyebrows at all, Bert has one long single eyebrow, and the Count has two. Two eyebrows! <laughs> and yet, none of them have ever blinked. Next, Duck Duck Swan. Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? Player two? Well, I've seen worse. <laughs> Player one. <laughs> Player three. Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan, so the Duck Dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead. Especially if they find out she once fooled around with a lady swan in college. Take a stab at the man in the backwards yellow hat, and it's a dis or dat. Player one, I want you to play this dis or dat since you're behind at the moment. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's an alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber, or an antic by the classic children's book character Curious George. If it's Justin Bieber, press the square button. If it's Curious George, Press the circle button. Now the rest of you should listen carefully. Lock in your answers before player one, because if player one gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the cash. Okay, let's move. Peed in a mop bucket. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely reporting a fight. At the house. Got high on ether. Got a bugle to an ostrich. Went to a Brazilian brothel. Ew, baby, 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 ew. I think we can all agree that it's time for that little bastard to get deported. And then it's your turn, Bieber. That's the end of a thrilling first round, and it would seem player three is winning. Who knows what might happen? Keep in mind, in round two, everything is worth twice as much. And lest you forget, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Enough small talk. I call this one Dumber and Dumberer -er 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 Two. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, -er, and then Dumb and Dumber Two. Makes perfect sense. Now going back a few decades, there was the Odd Couple and the Odd Couple Two. So.
If another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called the blank couple. Odd, otter, oddest, or otterist. Player three, the clocks are on. Player three? Um, really? <laughs> Player two? Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. <laughs> but of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Player one. No, but speaking of otter, otter, get it? <laughs> you just won. The greatest hits of the San Francisco Otter Choir. Hailed as one of the top three Otter Choirs in the world, the San Francisco Otter Choir will astound you with their covers of Little Red Corvette and The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Question 7. Say hello to... Let it go, let it go, let it go! At which temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a snowman. <laughs> Player 210's running out. Players two and three? Hmm, you may not know how temperatures work. <laughs> Player one. 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, blah, 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 he can magically be saved, but I'm talking about what would happen in the real world to a talking snowman. Open wide for Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, Yo. or Uranus. First spotted in 1879, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Players one, two, and three? That answer has a hole in it. <laughs> no, no, I'll get this. Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. <laughs> Coming up next, wine or lose. If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive red-skinned mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? Hello? Player two? Uh, nah. -uh. <laughs> Players one and three? Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Next time, try this. Chardonnays, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings are all white skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. <laughs> Although, to a connoisseur like myself, Malbec is very offensive. <laughs> oh, yes, I do say that was quite a burn. <laughs> Here's one for you. I want to lick and roll all night. If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? About 5 inches deep, about 10 inches deep, about 20 inches deep, or about 30 inches deep?
Players one, two, and three. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Watch how easy this is. An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about how deep into a woman's mouth a giraffe-tongued Gene Simmons could stick it. And if Gene Simmons' neck grew to the length of an adult giraffe's, he may not even need women anymore. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. I'm sorry, was I talking too much? Fine, here's your clue. Your house is made of what? What materials are their houses made from? Good luck. takes it wow player when you actually won the game with a score that's lower than zero it's like running a race backwards except that you don't have to be in shape to play a trivia game by the way you don't know jack I'm Cookie Masterson, and I shaved my nipples for this, so let's hurry before it grows back. Like, we need to get moving now. You know, they say...